This week, we stock up on bear spray before heading to Yellowstone National Park in the camper van, and I freeze my butt off through the Bear Tooth Pass. Our journey to Yellowstone National Park started at the Buffalo Bill Center of the West in Cody, Wyoming, where I grabbed a cup of chuck wagon coffee with some biscuits and beans. That's some strong stuff. Here's a chuck wagon here, see? There are five museums at the center, including the Cody Firearms Museum and a natural history museum, which explains all of the wildlife found in Yellowstone National Park. Buffalo Bill Center is awesome, and I can't wait to come back and see the entire renovated firearms display. Well, I can't wait to go to Yellowstone. Neither can I. Let's load up and get warm. When my mom first got Charlie as a puppy and we were driving her home, uh, my mother had her up front in her lap and a cup of coffee next to her. My mom likes to put cream in her coffee. Well, all of a sudden we hear this lapping noise and Charlie is drinking my mom's coffee. Obviously this is not good for the dog so we stopped immediately or stopped her immediately, but as a true Russo, she loves coffee and from a young age. Right Charlie? You love coffee, don't you? You don't get it, but you love it. <laughs> okay, get down. After talking to the locals, we decided to purchase a can of bear spray in case of a wild animal attack. So this stuff will go 40 feet for eight seconds. A lot of people might say carry a gun. Well, in Yellowstone, you're allowed to carry, but it is against federal law to discharge the firearm in the park. And if you happen to shoot a grizzly, uh, they are protected. So take that as you will. This is probably your best option with something else being a backup if you so choose. Off to Walmart? Yes. Where are you gonna park us? Um, I'm gonna see, park down here. You gonna park next to this camper van? Yeah. All right, all set, ready to rock and roll. Are you gonna carry the bear spray or am I gonna carry I'm it? I'm carrying the bear spray. It's not that I don't trust you. It's that I will stand in the path and you can be behind me. I knew I kept you around for a reason. <laughs> I think this has to be the nicest Walmart we've spent the night at. Yes, the view is absolutely gorgeous. Gateway to Yellowstone. Gotta get packed up. Gotta make sure our bear spray is handy. <laughs> wow. We drove the scenic byway to the northeast entrance of Yellowstone National Park and made a stop on the route so I could unload the motorcycle and go for a ride through the Bear Tooth Pass. I've got the GoPro mounted. Thought I'd try and get some shots on these winding roads. We'll see how it works out. I made it to the top of the world, but it is freezing. My hands are frozen. I can't go on any longer, so I'm turning back. It is gorgeous up here, but man, is it cold. It's so cold, the lake back there actually froze. Coffee, more important than bear spray. <laughs> Just saying. There's a moose. You got the bear spray? Was awesome first moose sighting ever after taking our photo at the park sign we stopped at the northeast entrance to pick up a hiking guide and get a few tips on wildlife viewing spots 
Trout Lake is an easy one mile trail with breathtaking views of Yellowstone and the wildlife that live in this area. I feel like I keep saying everything is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know a better way to describe it. It's just breathtaking. Wow. That was such a fun hike. Thank you for going with me. You're welcome. On the drive to our dispersed camping location, we spot a pack of wolves off in the distance, a bison hanging out on the side of the road, and elks roaming the hillside with their calves. You ready for day two at Yellowstone National Park? Yes! <laughs> I hope Sorry. we see a grizzly today. I do too. Got your bear spray. Well, that's really disappointing. As we were starting to go up the trail, a ranger came down and said, sorry, the trail is gonna be closed for a few days. There is a mama grizzly up there with her cub. That's her territory, and you do not wanna be going up there. Well, we can go check out the hot springs. Sounds good to me, I just wanna check out the board. Although we didn't get to go on the trail, we enjoyed exploring the Mammoth Hot Springs and taking a stroll on the boardwalk where we saw one of the resident snakes and an elk running through the area. Since pets are not allowed on any of the trails at the park, we headed back to the van to take Charlie for a walk. On the drive to Tower Junction, I decided to stop at a pullout and make myself a cup of coffee. Making coffee and uh, watching the bears. You finally got to see black bears. I did. And you got to enjoy coffee. Cheers. Highlight for today. It was. We got to see the little black bear cub climb up the tree. Mm hmm. It was scary how fast he got up there or she got up there. That's why if a black bear is chasing you, you don't want to climb up a tree. No. With no availability at any of the campgrounds inside the park, we drove back out to the National Forest where we found a free camping spot with an awesome view. As much as we enjoyed dispersed camping in a national forest, making the round trip drive meant less time inside the park. Kate and I decided to wake up early and drive into the park to see if we could snag a first come, first served spot at Norris Campground. Well, there were two RV sites left and we got one of them. Which site are we in? 90. Awesome. So we're in Sea Loop. You wanna go check it out? Let's do it. I feel like we got more of a tent site than an RV site, but as long as we have a place to park, I don't care. And it's flat. Yeah, it's not bad. After scoping out our $20 camping spot, we headed to Norris Geyser Basin to see the different geysers and springs in the area. We can now say we've seen the largest geyser in the world. We just haven't seen it go to its full eruption. Can you imagine seeing it at 300 feet? Up to 400. That would be incredible. Well, my favorite was Vixen. That was pretty cool. We spent the rest of the afternoon exploring the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone and the trails along the Rim Drive before calling it a night. So it is day four, and today we're gonna pick up a couple of the things we missed yesterday, the Grand Prismatic Springs and Old Faithful. Load up. Good girl. The Grand Prismatic Spring is the largest natural hot springs in the US, 
and one of the most iconic springs at Yellowstone National Park. Seeing the array of colors and the steam rising from the spring was awe-inspiring. That was an amazing sight. I really enjoyed all the different colors and the steam rising off the spring. It's beautiful. Well worth it. Now go see Old Faithful. There, saw it. Now we don't even have to worry about parking. Just kidding. It looks like there's a camper van from China. That's pretty cool. Maybe we should hang out a little bit and I can talk to them. See what that shipment was like getting it over here. We could ship our camper to China. <laughs> After watching the Old Faithful eruption, we checked out one of our favorite geysers in the area, the Beehive. So we just stopped by the visitor center to inquire about the height of the Old Faithful eruption we saw. It was about 138. We also just found out an hour ago a steamboat erupted and it was a major eruption. And we were here instead of there. I'm so bummed we missed it. Next time. We show you what it's like to live out of a camper van. It's been an amazing few days at Yellowstone National Park, but it is time for us to get back on the road. So we want to thank all of you for watching and a big thank you to Storyteller Overland for letting us borrow their prototype mode 4x4. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more cool content, head on over to our website at wertherussos.com. See you next time. Bye.